The film Hidden Figures was released in 2017 and directed by Theodore Melfi. It tells the story of three black women working at NASA as human computers and it follows them as they fight for the end of racial segregation in and outside the workplace. Having this film been set in the 1960s, the cinematographer does a great job of setting up the time period. Here we see protesters fighting segregation, and in a series of close-up shots we can see the chaos of the crowd. But most importantly, this sequence is our introduction to the conflict of the scene. Segregation must go! Segregation must go! This quick shot sets up the microaggressions that we're about to see later in the scene. The symmetry of the framing suggests and emphasizes further segregation between colored and white people. They must have done it. We don't want any trouble in here. Oh, I'm not here for any trouble, ma'am. What are you here for? A book. You have books in the colored section? It doesn't have what I'm looking for. Well, that's just the way it is. This conversation between Dorothy Vaughn and the woman at the library is shot through a series of over-the-shoulder shots and close-ups through a bookshelf. The library itself is almost silent, adding a sense of tension and intensity. I interpreted the bookshelf, though, as like a barricade, isolating Dorothy and acting as yet another obstacle between racial segregation and her own goals. Now, you know better than Get your hands off my boys. Don't touch them. You have a blessed day. The sudden use of music relays Dorothy's anger in getting kicked out of the library. Instead of using a high angle shot to suggest inferiority between Dorothy, the man, and the woman who's about to walk up the steps, the camera sits leveled in the middle, their staging in the frame suggesting this instead. two different things. Just cause it's the way doesn't make it right. Understand? Yes, ma'am. You act right, you are right. That's for certain. Here the scene starts coming to an end and using a handheld camera, the tracking shot goes down the bus aisle to the back where Dorothy and her two kids sit. The quietness of the other passengers is intentional and it draws more attention to their important conversation. You took that book, Mama? Son, I paid taxes. And taxes pay for everything in that library. Hey, take something you already paid for. Fortran is a new and exciting language used by programmers to communicate with computers. It is exciting as it is the way of the future. Overall, I really love this scene. I thought it was so crucial to getting the theme and message of the story across because a lot of it is based on getting John Glenn to the moon and the calculations that go into that. But then this helps tie it back to the actual like message that hey, like segregation is a huge issue in and outside of the workplace. Like it follows you home to the library. Like even your kids will know about it. It's just so prevalent in this movie. And overall, just like the color grading and the natural sound really tie it back to like being set in the 1960s. I found that really important. Just like the, the bright colors, like some of the muted tones. And especially in that last clip with the bus, um, I thought it was important to have a conversation with the children just to make sure that like they understood what happened to their mom and why they were kicked out of the library, why it was fair for her to take home that book. In addition to its beautiful aesthetics, the movie overall was just so powerful, so moving, and so well shot that I think it would be a great movie for anyone to watch of all ages.